hey guys welcome back in this video i'm gonna show you all how to create your piano app using mit app inventor so this is a very quite simple application that everybody can create for this i'm gonna be using this these piano keys as a reference so totally we'll be using 13 number of keys for our piano app and let's get started so for each and every key there is a different sound note involved so those uh, sound note files i have fetched from the app inventor itself and for the black key and white key i have created one on my own so below the description link you can find all the media files compiled and attached via an open google drive link you can always make use of it to create your own piano all right so for this application the first step is we need to be uh, changing the orientation of the mobile screen obviously because the piano keys could be arranged in inside an ar arrangement so under properties the first thing i'm going to make change is i'm going to change the screen orientation to landscape and uh, also the screen one name is not quite compelling i'm going to change it to um, my piano or my little piano whatever the name that you like and so that's it and at first the most important component that i'm going to be adding inside this is uh, a canvas component so you can ask instead of an horizontal arrangement uh, and from the layout component we are going in for drawing an animation and canvas all right so i'm going to drag and drop a canvas component so also for screen orientation let it be like align horizontal to center and align vertical to top that works fine so for the canvas component we need to change the height and width i'm gonna change the height of the canvas component to 50 percent of the entire screen and width to be like 73 percent that works good for this entire piano containing 13 keys all right if you if you want you can increase or decrease the size as per your wish so inside this canvas component i'm going to be dragging and dropping multiple image sprites for the 13 keys so the first step i'm going to be doing is drag and drop an image sprite rename it as the corresponding note so i'm going to be simply renaming it as c note or c click on ok and for C I'm gonna be uploading the picture of white key obviously and then click on ok all right so and then arrange it in such a way that it fits perfectly inside the canvas all right so next I'm gonna be adding another one more image sprite beside the C note rename it as D click on ok for this again I'm gonna be uploading the white key image and then arrange it neatly all right so now we have added C and D white keys the next step is we need to be adding the C sharp key so remember follow the same steps as I do so if you uh, add the C sharp instead of adding the D note it would overlap the D note may overlap uh, the existing one and then it will be difficult for you to place it up accordingly all right it will create a lot of chaos here so arrange the C and note C and D note properly and then go for the C sharp all right so now I'm gonna be renaming it as C sharp and for this I'm gonna be uploading the picture of blackkey.jpg okay. place it in such a way that it stays in between C and D note now following the same steps I'm gonna be arranging the next keys as well so the next step is I'm gonna be adding one more white key rename it as E probably rename it as E under component section upload the picture of white key arrange it and then one more image sprite in between D and E rename it as D sharp and then upload a picture of black key
ring so now I'm going to add one more white key the next key is going to be F so remember there is no sharp note in between E and F so after adding F we should jump to adding a G white key so rename it as F upload the picture of white arrange it nicely one more image pride rename it as G again for G one more white key and now one F sharp in between F and G rename it as F sharp for F sharp key ap upload the picture of black I know it is quite tricky to arrange these keys properly. So after F sharp, it is going to be um, A. A. For A, we need to upload white key. Add one more sharp. And that is going to be renamed as yes, G sharp. Upload the picture of black key. So in this way, I'm going to finish the rest of the keys as well. And the last one is going to be renamed as high C, high C note. So that's it. We have created our own piano. And now the next step is we need to add a notes label so that every time the user presses on each key of the piano the corresponding note could be displayed below the piano image so for this i'm gonna be adding a label component and place it below this canvas i'm gonna be renaming the label as notes label and for these notes label you can change few properties first i'm gonna change the text as notes And then if you want, you can increase or decrease the font size and make some changes. And for this particular piano, we all know one component is mandatory because uh, for playing the musical element. And for that, we need to be going under media section, drag and drop a player component. So a player component is obviously a non-visible component. And for this player we are not adding a source because uh, this particular app needs multiple source for multiple keys so we will be assigning the source for each and every key in the block section so with this we have completed the user interface part of the piano app and for this piano app itself I have added an additional feature of sound recording feature in my previous video uh, which you can check in the link that is coming on top of this video tutorial Alright, so now let's get jump into the block section. So for the block section, 
I'm gonna be coding each and every key so first let us start off with the C note right so when C note is being touched by the user the first step is going to be playing the corresponding music all right so I'm gonna be uh, setting the source first and then calling the player component to start playing the music not only that but also display the corresponding C note using a notes label so these are all the three number of steps that we are going to execute every time when the user touches the C key all right so the first step is we're gonna assign the source for the player so go to player drag and drop set player source to so the player source is going to be add an empty text string so what is the source for the C note is you can find under the media section so here I have mentioned like C note dot W A V so for C in caps and in caps followed by W A V so let's type in the same name in this empty text string block C note dot W A V right and then I'm gonna call the player component to start playing the music and also display the notes label text as C right so now we can follow the same number of steps for each and every key for all the 13 uh, keys right you can simply repeat this set of blocks for the other 12 keys as well but instead I'm gonna be making a simple uh, programming change here so we are gonna add some complex programming concept here called functions so in your regular coding language we call it functions here in this app inventor we call it a procedure we're gonna create a procedure and call that procedure over and over again for all the number of keys we are using all right so I'm going to go for the procedures and then make use of this block called to procedure do block so I'm going to create a function called play note or in simple terms we can call I'm going to create a procedure called play note and this particular procedure or a function requires an input to perform properly which is which note is being pressed by the user at that corresponding time all right so first I'm gonna be making use of all these blocks inside the procedure but instead of C note and C I'm gonna generalize the set of instructions all right so first I'm gonna be making use of this join text block it is going to join whatever the key that is pressing and that is being pressed by the user along with node.wav all right so it needs one particular input to perform so let us assume the user is pressing on the c key again so here i'm going to pass that c information as input to this play node procedure all right so go to the procedure drag and drop this call call play node so i'm calling this procedure every time when the user presses the c key along with the input called c all right so this c information will be stored inside this note variable and then the pr the procedure called play note will get executed all right so now hover over the note variable drag and connect it to the first socket of join block so what it this particular block will do is as soon as the user presses the c key it will call the play note procedure and takes this c in c as an input stores in this variable called node go to the play note procedure and perform the first set of instruction which is set player one source to join the text strings called so now we know inside note we have the c so c node dot w a v obviously we are getting the same output which is c node dot w a v as we have mentioned previously also calling the player component to start playing the music now you all know what block could be added inside the set notes label text too, right yes c note we obviously need to mention c note every time when the user touches c so inside the note variable we know 
C value is being stored. So that particular C is going to be displayed using a notes label. All right. So now we're going to call this play note procedure for the different 12 number of keys that we have used. So for this, just follow the steps. So for the next key, you can simply right click and duplicate it. So instead of C, I can rename it to D and change simply change the play note input to D. Right quite simple so in the similar way I'm going to rename all the keys F G A B I C for high C please check out the note name uh, hi C note dot w a v h and c in caps so accordingly I C and then for rest of the sharp keys as well so when a sharp is touched say change the play note to a sharp c sharp F sharp and then finally G sharp so that's it also before proceeding please count the number of keys you have added it's like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so totally 13 number of keys we have our program so far so we have completed this entire program uh, you can check check out the output uh, also before that I would like to give you a simple suggestion so before proceeding into copying all the keys and then doing changes I would always encourage you to do a cross check connect it with your Android app check out the output and then proceed with the rest of the blocks okay even if any one of the block is getting error it will be difficult for you to change entirely right so now you can check out the output for that go to connect click on a companion scan the qr code and then you are ready to go so now let us see the output for this particular piano app Great. So let's meet again in some other tutorial. Bye bye.